Hey guys, it's Julie. So I haven't posted a video in a while, so, um, I don't know why, I'm just, I've been lazy lately, I haven't really felt like doing anything, but, um, this video I thought I would talk about when I had a ruptured ovarian cyst, because that was not fun, it was not fun, it was unpleasant, and it sucked. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with, um, rupture, <laughs> guys are gonna, what the fuck, I don't wanna watch this, fuck you. Um, Ruptured ovarian cysts, they, they suck. They hurt like a motherfucker, and they suck. Um, basically, what happened, last fall, um, I had a morning shift at work. I was supposed to be there at 9, and I got up and, like, had to pee really bad, because it's, like, the first thing I do in the morning is, like, I pee really hard. So, like, sitting on the toilet peeing really hard, because I was holding it on night, because I'm too fucking lazy to get up, and, um... Yeah, like, all of a sudden I got this really sharp stabbing pain on my lower left-hand side, and, like, I swear, like, I thought I was going to faint, and then I thought I was going to vomit. Like, it was so terrible. I never experienced anything like that in my life. I was so scared. I was like, oh, my God. So I called my manager, and luckily she's really nice, and she's really understanding, and I'm just like, I can't come into work today because I think I'm dying, so, <laughs> you know, just a heads up. So she's like, okay, I'll cover your shift. You know, um, I went to the doctor, obviously, that morning, and, um... So, <laughs> that was fine. I get there to the doctor's clinic, and, like, I'm sitting there, like, holding my side, like, I'm gonna fucking pass out. This hurts like a motherfucker. And, um, I see the doctor, and I have, well, I don't have the doctor anymore, so I don't have insurance. <laughs> I had, past tense, a male doctor. So, you know, I told him my symptoms, and, um, they did, like, a urine test because they thought it could have been, like, a kidney infection or bladder infection or whatever. Well, actually, I thought it could have been. They were like, you don't have the symptoms of that, but we'll test you for it anyways because why not? Um, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Like, I went in, I'm like, I think I have a kidney infection. My side hurts. So, <laughs> fuck. I'm not a doctor. Um, yeah, so I... My doctor didn't really know exactly what it was. I guess these things are kind of hard to diagnose without, like, looking at it internally. And, um, you know, he's like, I think you just ruptured an ovarian cyst, and it happens, you know. And I'm like, okay, so you gonna give me anything for it? Because this hurts like fuck. And he was like, well, take some ibuprofen. It'll be fine. Fucking ibuprofen. Like, you're not gonna give me some Vicodin? Fuck you. Um, <laughs> you don't need to get into something like that, but, no, honestly, I, my doctor was really nice, but, yeah, like, I wish he would have gave me something stronger than just tell me to take fucking ibuprofen, because I took ibuprofen and it helped a little bit, but it hurt, like, fuck still, so, yeah, I wish he would have given me something stronger, but, um, yeah, I mentioned he was a male doctor, and it was really awkward, because he was like, well, I have to give you an internal exam, and, you know, where he just, like, sticks his finger up there and fucking feels around, and, you know, it gets to a certain point, he's like, does this hurt? And I'm like, yeah, it fucking hurts. So, um, that was his diagnosis of me having an ovarian cyst, was him sticking his finger up there to see if it hurt, and it did. So, <laughs> mystery solved. Um, took a really long time to heal. Like, I don't even remember, honestly, how long it took to heal. But, um, it wasn't just, like, a couple of days or whatever. It was, like, weeks went by maybe in like a month and it got to the point where like I called the doctor's office I'm like I'm still having symptoms my side hurts I'm having nausea etc um whatever so I had to go to like a specialist to an ultrasound technician and you know where like they stick that fucking camera up your vagina and like, you get to see your insides and it was really like it's really weird um <laughs> it's like this feels wrong it's a woman who did it, though, so I guess that was a little less awkward. But, um, yeah, so I was really concerned about it because I was still having symptoms, but, um, she looked at it and she was like, you know, you'll get the results, like, the doctor will call you with the final results or whatever, and she's like, yeah, it looks like you still have some drainage or whatever the fuck they call it from, I don't know how big that cyst was, but it must have been pretty big to, uh, keep, um, hurting the way it did, and it took so long to heal, and me still having the symptoms, it just, it was lingering, like, it did not want to go away on its own. So, I had the remains of where there was an explosion <laughs> from my ovary or whatever, and, um, it was kind of cool, though, because I got to see what my insides look like. It sounds so weird, but, like, I got to see my ovaries, and, like, oh, there's my uterus! <laughs> it's just, like, it's kind of, it's, I don't know, it's kind of cool, because, not many people get to see what their insides look like. It's like, you know that they're there, and you know what their function is, but you don't get to, <laughs> something you get to look at every day. 
So that was actually really cool. I was like, yeah, that's inside of me. Yay! Um, so that's that. And eventually, like, I got the results back. The doctor called me back, and everything looked fine. Um, the x-rays showed that I um, had a the remains of a ruptured cyst, which I suppose is just, like, fluid or particles or whatever in there. But um, what bothers me is that the nurse who whoever I spoke to... Well, first the specialist, like the ultrasound technician said everything looked essentially normal and I was like what does essentially normal mean and she didn't really tell me and then when the doctor I don't think it was my doctor when the nurse or whoever the fuck called me and they told me the results you know the final results whatever um they said that everything looked essentially normal and <laughs> to me essentially normal and normal are two different things so I mean like I don't know, off and on I still get, like, side pain, so I'm pretty sure I still have, like, I still get cysts, and I don't know, like, one, uh, a couple months ago, <clears throat> back in May, I want to say, like, I went running for the first time in, like, fucking forever, and, um, as I was running, like, I was good for a while, but then, like, I got a really sharp side pain on, like, the other side, um, my right or my left, the one that didn't fuck up the first time, but I, shut up, I'm tired, go away. Um, <laughs> so, I had this really sharp pain, I was like, you know, in this one, um, spot, and, like, I almost threw up and passed out and whatever the fuck, but, ended up walking home, I was fine, but there was a while there, I was just like, I just want to sit behind this tree and die, because I feel like shit, but, um, I lived, so, yay! <laughs> I don't know. I guess that's it, um, I don't recommend ovarian ruptured ovarian cysts. <laughs> they suck. Not that you can control them or, you know, not like anyone would want one or wish for one. But let me tell you guys, like, having a ruptured ovarian cyst is no fun. It sucks. It's awful and it's terrible. It sucks and it doesn't go away. So, fuck that. Stay away from those. Flip them off. Whatever the fuck. Alright, so I guess that's it for this video. Um, until next time, guys. Thanks anyways. Bye. Bye. <laughs>